Well, a brand new report shows the administration dumped more than a billion dollars into Obamacare websites run by just six states. And all that money apparently wasted because those websites are all fatally flawed. Lou Dobbs is the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network. Lou, great to see you. Great to be with you. $1.2 billion. Here are the states. Oregon, Maryland, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Vermont, and Minnesota. They are described, the websites, as having near-fatal flaws. Does that mean all of that money has been wasted? Uh, not all of it, because at the, by our count, uh, it means that the federal government has spent an additional 15000 per enrollee to bring them into Obamacare. That's not to pay for insurance. That's not for health care accounts of some kind. That's $15,000 just to get them into the site. What's the problem with these websites? Why can't we get the technology right for $1.2 billion? Well, it varies from state to state. It varies, of course, with healthcare.gov, the, the, the federal program. But fundamentally, the contractors that have been brought in are working for people who have no idea what they're doing. Uh, that is too often the answer. CMS, for example, at the federal level, had a lack of proficiency and competency when it came to websites. No one had ever tried this in the federal government, an e-commerce site. Uh, and it, the result has been utter chaos and billions of wasted taxpayer dollars. Let's look at just two states, mm -hmm. um, Minnesota and Oregon. Right. $450 million <laughs> has been spent on those two state exchanges. Right. They are not working. Uh, they're, they're described as almost comical, how badly they're not working. Who will be held responsible for the state exchanges problems? Held accountable? Yes. The only people who are held accountable in all of this, Allison, are the American taxpayers. We're the ones on the hook. No one's being fired at CMS. No one's being fired. We've had the, uh, the director of the exchange in Oregon resign after a three-month leave of absence. Uh, the, uh, one of the president's principal advisors came in to help with healthcare.gov, uh, a, a, and with some irony, he had to take a leave and resign for his own health because he was a, apparently, a, 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 basically a basket case as a result. They said that he was working many, many oh, long I, hours. Yes, there, there is irony there. Obviously, everyone hopes that he is okay. But the point is that the state exchanges, uh, there, obviously there's problems with the federal uh, right. website, but the state exchanges, there are, I should say, some success stories. Mm -hmm. New York, California, Kentucky, right. Connecticut, what are they doing right? Can, can any of the other states learn a lesson from them? I, I think one of the lessons you can learn is you've got to have a bigger state because what we don't have is a metric to judge what were the targeted numbers of uh, enrollees and what were the actual number of enrollees signed up uh, in, in the program. We really don't have that accounting. We don't know what percentage of them are 18 to 35 years of age. The younger uh, folks who are expected to carry the burden of the older folks who require far more expensive care uh, than, the, uh, than the average. What do you think is going to happen here with the state exchanges that aren't working? The state exchanges that aren't working, I think, as in the case of Oregon, I, I, don't, I don't think they've got recourse here. Uh, they've spent all of the federal money. It's, and by the way, they're in Oregon. It's cost them about uh, right at $50,000 for each enrollee in the state of Oregon. So it varies. I mean, there's, you know, there are failures and then there are really epic failures. Epic failures. Yeah. Oregon, uh, the most epic. Absolutely. Uh, so I don't think they've got much recourse. We're going to see a profound change in Obamacare. The model doesn't work. The exchanges don't work. The system doesn't work. And, it, and the taxpayer is on the hook here for $1.8 trillion. This is not going to uh, I think, travel well with voters when they go to the polls in November. Lou Dobbs, great to see you. Great to see Thanks you, so Alex. Thanks for the info. Strong statement. Bill. Nice to see you. Lou, good luck with the book, Upheaval. Buy it now. Her face.